I started my career in uh, public relations. Um, and that was, and then of course it moved from there. And I was a hashtag dual career for a long time, uh, with a day job working for IBM, and then a part time job TV and news reading. And then uh, BFM came about, so uh, that's where I am most of the time right now. Faith. Uh, you have to sort out your faith, whatever it may be, on the spiritual side of things. You got to look at your fitness. Uh, you got to take care of your finance. You got to take care of your family, you got to look at your friends, uh, your lifestyle, uh, mental growth and uh, your career as well. So when, I, when the, these areas of life is important, uh, it may be, you may be at different life stages and you may have certain priorities in different areas. Uh, the reason that's important is because you may be very successful in your career and if you've never spent time with your family and friends, and when something happens here, you look back and say, eh, where are my family and friends? And so, when I talk about the eight areas of life, you really have to make time for all these things. I remember working for a PR company years ago, and we had a request for a pitch. And as usual, clients said, can I have the pitch by tomorrow? I remember my boss, uh, she was a female boss, and she was saying, no, she said, Tell them, I can only be able to give you something in two weeks' time. If you want something of value, I cannot give to you something tomorrow, she says. And she says, it's not that we can't come up with a proposal. But the moment you do something that is like this, at the back and call, imagine you do win that deal, everything will be at their back and call. So, and you want to be able to offer something of quality. And that has, I have remembered that uh, ever since, you know, I mean, to not to have your pride, but to remember your, your, your place, right? And to also take, well, in a way, take, take pride of your work, right? And not be able to just sort of uh, bend over backwards unnecessarily. This book is actually the combination of almost all the women that I have interviewed. Um, the focus was on women entrepreneurs. So I wanted to speak to these women from different, different businesses who have crossed over the million ringgit mark in terms of revenue. What can we learn from them? Um, and I think that's better to be able to learn from something so that more women who aspire to have bigger businesses can learn from these women. So I interviewed 15 women. Um, I try to cover all the races, I try to cover all you know, East Malaysia, West Malaysia and even the social enterprise. So I try to show a variety and that it is possible to earn huge revenues uh, regardless of industries. I really can't say who has been most memorable. Every person that I have met would have taught me something. You know, I do a show called Her Vantage where I speak to women of influence and leadership. And I talk to women in sports, to comedy, to politics, right? So each has taught me something, you know, about, about their field. So all of them have inspired me.